So, Berlin, how would you like to play Three Question Thursday? I'm excited about this bonus round. Let's do this. Okay, bonus round. Here we go, where nobody knows the questions, including me. But <laughs> I have to ask you, because here you are, losing a whole pile of weight, going through four sizes. Were you getting tired of going to the store every other week? How did you manage that? Or did you just have a closet full anyway? <laughs> What was your strategy? Well, I, I I did have a closet full to begin with. Um, you know, I actually tapped my local Goodwill and uh, Salvation Army because, for one, it, it benefits my community when I shop there. For two, you can find quality clothes that are very inexpensive. And then what I do is, you know, I may buy a shirt for $5 and then I turn around and donate it either by just posting it in our local swap thing or taking it to the men's shelter or whatever. And the reality was I was going through so many um, sizes so quickly. And, and we all know, you know, for women, a size 10 dress at one store is a 14 in one and an eight in another. And similarly with men, with how the shirts are cut and the pants fit and those kind of things. So I just decided that I wasn't going to spend a lot of money to invest in a new wardrobe until I get to my normal size body and stay there for a while. Because again, I, you know, my pattern has been, I've dropped down the weight, got a cute outfit or two, and then, you know, gained the weight back and only wore it two times. So for me, um, now I would do fun things. Like I would go to the store and try on a pair of jeans that I thought there's no way these are going to fit me and just be in total shock and dismay when they did. But I, I still wouldn't buy it because, you know, I'm along this for the long haul. So let's see what we get. So now that now that I'm in my more right size body, that one of the pictures, my after picture that you showed, those are a pair of jeans that I, you know, I was very excited to get. They're, they're 29, for goodness sakes. I don't think there's middle school kids that wear a 29. Here I am at 29. So um, so I bought those because that was that was a celebration. They were a little bit more expensive. But and I'm starting to add in a few pieces of, of quality, you know, clothing at this time. But no, I totally, I shopped at Goodwill and uh, then donated that. Well, you know what? Now this begs the question that you're saying that you're turning around and donating it back. That's telling me that you're pretty confident of where you are right now. What does that feel like to have this you know, newborn confidence after level five, 50 years? Now you're... Now you're in confidence mode. How does that feel like, you know, compared to the past? It, it feels amazing, really. Now, to be very honest, there is a part of me that still goes, are you going to be able to maintain this? And, and that's just being, you know, honest on a gut level with you all. I, I kind of wonder, but again, you know, I know my body's rhythms. I know I've went up and down, but I also know now I've held this same weight within a pound or two for three months, almost four months now. So I'm feeling very good about even, you know, because guys have heavy days too, when we just feel heavy and bloated and whatever. I mean, it's just part of our bodies, right? So even on those days, it doesn't trigger me. Whereas before I'd be like, see, here I go, I'm going up the scales, I might as well eat because what? Okay, so I'm bloated today. I'm, I'm still sticking to plan. You're not going to get me off course of this, this plan. So this, and you've it's got my, community, my you've got community Snapchatting meals. I mean, that is awesome to have that kind of back and forth. I have one more question. My guys are amazing. They, yeah. they sound amazing. One more question. You mentioned it briefly that you kind of at the spur of the moment said, my thing is eating, I guess. It, you know, compared to like your dad and the situation mm -hmm. that you lived with. What does Verlin today think about that, that younger child who thought that way with what you've gained in knowledge and what you've lived in your life now? You know, what I think is the most interesting is, um, again, it kind of goes back to that comparison. Well, as long as I'm not doing drugs and I'm not doing alcohol, then I don't have an addiction. Now, I've always been too tight with my money to ever gamble, so that was never going to be an issue. But I, uh, 
looking back now, I, you know, I, I, I just want to weep for the boy that went through so much trauma, mm. honestly. And I feel like me staying with my healthy meals is a visual representation three times a day that I'm healed or that I've healed past that. You know, I think, I think we continue to heal on an ongoing basis. I don't know that we ever reach it because at different levels, we're able to look at ourselves differently and we're able to remember those situations differently. But um, certainly having that confidence and realizing the, uh, the power of what I've overcome by facing my traumas and making a different choice. Wow. And you know what else, just from uh, my observation, getting to know you in this Zoom chat tonight, I see a man who's, like I said, devoted to his family and now leaving such a tremendous legacy, living a legacy really right now, and also being able to bless others with the knowledge that you have found the hard way, the life way, but now you know, you can just share very easily because it's it's in you. It's a part of you. And you're just like a walking, breathing testimonial that you can, you can heal thyself with good food. I mean, all things good. You're, you're not the only, I mean, I believe Christianity and just that there's a God. We're all, you know, driven by our, our God. But, um, that we have the power to turn things around in one day, one meal at a time, one thought at a time. You know, it's, it's interesting. You're, you're very much right. It's, it's sometimes it seems so simple, but it all starts with action. And when you take that first step, you know, you're on that journey and it doesn't matter if you fall, you get back up. We look at children, they fall all the time and we encourage them. We pick them up. You can do this. You've got this. And guess what? Kids get up, they walk, they run, and they go on with life, right? Um, if we could only treat ourselves that same way, you know, it's okay to stumble, it's okay to fall, pick yourself up. You've got this. We sure do. Well, Verlin, thanks again so much for sharing your story. And thank you for playing Three Question Thursday. Absolutely. It's been great. <laughs> really appreciate it's it. It's been wonderful. Thank you so much. So good to know you and uh, all the best to you. Thanks, everybody, for being here. Good night. Thank Stay you. bright.